Recently, our public health services hit the headlines for all the wrong reasons. Our health system is the sickest it's been. I would describe what's happening right now as a crisis. Our hospitals are bursting at the seams every single day. But what's it really like to work on the hospital front line? In this groundbreaking series, three Australian icons with a unique connection to the health system will go beyond the headlines to find out. Actor Samuel Johnson. 22 months ago, I was hit by a car and I was in two different hospitals for about eight weeks. They were so lovely and attentive and I didn't feel their stress. That's why I'm doing this show, because surely doing this show will answer me this question. How did they hide it? Food writer and TV host, Melissa Leon. My mother worked emergency and she would tell me stories of um, all sorts of things that would happen there. I want to dig a little deeper to think a little bit more and to feel a little bit more about what's going on. And host of Gardening Australia, Costa Georgiatis. As far as the public health system, I got you know a lot of connection, positive and negative. Dad had a major cardiac arrest. To walk into the hospital with him and to walk out without him, you don't forget that. They will leave behind their day jobs and spend a week alongside the frontline workers at one of Australia's busiest hospitals, St Vincent's in Sydney. I'm sweating a bit, my heart rate's up. It's the first time I've seen anything like this. I'm a little bit nervous. I have been in an operating theatre exactly zero times. This is a serious, serious situation. Life is in this whole team's hands. You walk into a world thinking you half know about some things, and then you walk out going, I knew nothing. They will experience firsthand the extraordinary challenges staff face right across the medical front line from the pressures of emergency medicine. Oxygen too low to read. Lucky there was a bed available immediately. He might have passed. To the emotional toll of treating cancer. This gives me a, a chance at, at a cure. I'm annoyed at myself because I got emotional. I've worked so hard not to do this. And the complexity of life-saving operations. It's really given me an insight into how fragile health and life is. It's extraordinary. It's really extraordinary to have witnessed something like that. With an ageing population, chronic disease on the increase and costs snowballing, what will it take to ensure our public health system is fit to take on the challenges of the future? If it wasn't for the people, the frontline workers in this hospital, if it wasn't for them, then, then I think the system would collapse.